everybody welcome back to the video today we are at a auction it's our local spring it's kind of well they call it a consignment auction there's farm equipment here there's construction equipment there's trucks there's small junk there's all kinds of things here they usually have about three thousand items here including the small things uh, so we're going to walk through today and look at uh, the highlights of what's here. There is definitely some red power here and some other neat things. So we're going to go take a look at those. Uh, I'm going to apologize for the wind noise now. Hopefully it won't be too bad, uh, but there is a bit of a breeze. If it does get bad, I will just voice over some of the sections. Um, so hopefully you can hear it. Let's go see what they have. As we get started here, here's a whole bunch of small stuff over here, but they got one heck of a lineup of trucks here. All right, we found some red power, 1066. Turbo. Sheet metal looks pretty good. Wonder how many hours are on it. Can we read that? 8274. So it's got 8,000 hours on it. Seat's a little crooked. 18438s. Two remotes, two PTOs. Overall, doesn't look bad. Oh, eh, yeah, I need a tire. All right, guys, here is the maddest, angriest tractor I've ever seen. Can you see the headlights on this thing? I've seen Yanmars before, but not one like this. What is it? It's a YT235. Kind of an odd design. But, uh, yeah, those headlights. Kind of scary. All right, now we're finding some of the right manufacturers. Here is a Farmall. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Let's see if we can find an ID tag. Obviously, you can see it's kind of a construction color here and pretty rough looking. Really rough looking. Somebody manufactured their own seat mount there. All right, I guess I'm blind. Did I miss the cereal plate here? I'm not seeing one. Well, I don't know what model it is, but there's the starter. There's a rusted out fender. I don't even know if this would make a good project. All right, so somebody in the comments, tell me. What am I looking at here? All right, we got more to look at. Let's keep going. All right, this looks like a C right here with some sort of apparatus on the front for something. A little bit better condition, but not perfect. Okay, so they got a PTO powered hydraulic pump on it. Tires are. Oh, they took the weights off. Guess they weren't planning to get much money for this, huh? Still, this one would be worth saving if somebody. You know, it's got all these hydraulics on it and stuff. Pretty cool. And then we come over to a little cub here not in bad shape partially repainted <laughs> I don't know either that flaked off or somebody stopped I don't know I bet you this one would run overall looks pretty good eh, this room's a little rusty but that would make a good good candidate for restoration. 
And another beauty, look at this. I've never seen a 686. So you guys are gonna have to educate me in the comments down below. What's the horsepower? How many were made? This one's a little bit rough looking here. Don't lean back in the seat. Tires off the rim. 3.540. I don't know if that's the original top link or not. It <laughs> kind of looks like there was maybe a, somebody had put some kind of a roll bar on there and cut it and capped it. Very strange. Tire's got a lot of tread on it. It almost looks orange. I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera or not, but it kind of looks orange. I'll walk around and see if we can see. I don't know if the tack and the hour meter work. Missing some headlights. Oh, there it is. Headlights right down in there. Safely stored away. Let's see. Says 44,900. 12 hours there that's a rough 4400 hours I can't ever find the serial tags on any of these things oh it's missing missing the serial tag right there what do we got over here that's kind of a cool Ford tractor it says 900 on the front. What do we got here? 574. Boy, all these poor tractors have been used and abused. Somebody smashed the fenders up. New alternator on there. What do we got back here? Well, that's interesting. I guess it has a dual PTO. One of them's covered. Top link's missing. Tires don't look too bad. 16928s. Oh no, got a fram on there. That's no good. And this is saying 4,000. No, that says 456. So that's obviously been replaced. David Brown. There's a con construction 584. There's a 574 that the paint has seen better days. Wow, look at those rear, rear tires. Holy crap, those are like brand new. Oh, look, a cup holder. You can even put your CDs in there. <laughs> what is this one saying? 3,207. Oh, well, it's a case David Brown, yeah. 16930s. Those are good looking tires. McConnell Mark back here. Dual PTO missing the top link. They got these too close together. Overall, not a bad tractor. trying to find the cereal plate again these things are always hiding from me oh is that it there that's it right there i 574 d serial number ends with 7111 all right guys i'm standing on a rickety hay wagon just to give you an idea what this place looks like What does it say? 656. Oh, 656. <laughs> All right, well, the sticker, somebody done painted over the thing on this side with the wrong. Was over, but... Oh, yeah, there you go. 656 ends in 9688 with the wrong color paint. Whoa, she's got a big oil leak right there.
18434s. 540, no top link. Looks like tires are leaking a little bit here. Definitely got a lot of leaks. Keep somebody busy. Keep the rust away too. Battery falling out. What does the tax say? It says 5,633. With a decent looking seat on there. Just the wrong color. Somebody painted it with a brush. But, be a good tractor if somebody wanted to fix it up. Got some more red power over here. Got a 986. And, what is that? An 885. 986 is sitting tall there. Ooh, looks a little rough, but not terrible. Somebody painted over that cereal plate. Oh, comes with the free muffs if you want them. What's on there? That is 20.838s. Two rear remotes, a couple leaky, must have a leaky PTO seal there. Some busted out lights. Overall, not bad. Somebody could fix this up. Can't read the tack. Too yellowed. Well, while we're here a second, what in the heck is this thing? I think it used to be yellow. Somebody painted it blue. All right, somebody tell me down below, what is the manufacturer of this thing? I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like it, and the paint might be throwing me off, but. Detroit, it's got a Detroit diesel in it, whatever it is. Looks like somebody pulled it out of the ocean. All right, let me know what it is. Now we found an 806. I don't know if that's a weight box or something there, diesel. Again, looking a little rough. This is by far the most red power I've ever seen at this sale. I think you're gonna need a full gasket set for this guy because she's leaking pretty good. Some dry rotted out galaxies. 18434s. Nice duct tape on the seat up there. Fenders rusted out a little bit there. Yeah. Not too far gone, but getting there. That fender's rusted out. Let's see if the uh, hour meter says anything. That's saying 5,230. That's a hard 5,000 hours. Oh look, free pair of gloves too. A couple of beetles, no title parts only. Oh look at this cool old delivery van. What is it? Does it say? It says it's a 1958 Willys. That's pretty cool. Oh uh, well, yeah, kind of missing some stuff back there. Here's an Alice Chalmers 190. Something a little different. I think I remember reading online when I was kind of looking at the catalog that I think the transmission, there's something something wrong with it. Whoa, that's been welded together pretty good. And if you want a burned up project, here you go. I'm guessing Kubota, but I'm not 100% sure what that used to be. And then what is this, an A? I'm telling you, people must be thinking prices are going to stay high because everybody's dragging everything out of the woods. Huh? Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, this is just missing parts all over the place. I guess there's still some good parts on it. There's a tank and things. If people needed a few parts. And here's a C over here. I'm guessing these two came in together. Again, might be able to get a few parts from them. Tires? Other than that being flat. Oh no, I guess they got some good checks in them. Not many good parts on them though. 
All right, guys, here's something I've never seen before. It looks like an Oliver corn picker. You tell me down below, have you ever seen one of these things? Model number five, serial number 40978AV. Oliver Corporation, that's pretty cool. Top's a little bit beat up, but. That is really cool. All right, the moment I've been waiting for, the International 300 Utility. She's leaking some there. Definitely needs a seat. What do we got? Ooh, 5,500 hours if the tack works. That's pretty high. Tires look decent. Looks like some stuff's leaking. There's fast hitch stuff. She's a project tractor. What do we got? 23703 is the serial number. Cinnamon bowl actually doesn't look bad. Sheet metal's a little rough. Got it zip tied down on there. Got the grill. That's a project. Alright guys, here's a gem drug out of the weeds. It looks like a Fordson. I think. I can't really read that. Oh my god. Did it out of the weeds or out of the pond? I'm not really sure where somebody got it from. Alright, look at this big boy. I'm calling it four-wheel drive. Rack of weights. You don't see these very often. Good tires. Not sure what model it is though. Let's see what we got here. It's a 5288. Serial number, oh boy, 5086. International Harvester Company. That is a big tractor. Got duels on it. Little duct tape up there. Wow. This is a heavy duty tractor. All right, somebody tell me down below, what's the horsepower on this thing? And how often have you ever seen one? That's really cool. Does it say what the hours are up here? My camera's gonna die. Somebody, looks like they tried to clean it up a little bit. I'm gonna fall down. I'll show you 6,490 hours. Overall, it looks pretty well taken care of. Some few minor things, but that's pretty cool. If I only had a bigger farm. All right, guys, back in the car. There was a lot more stuff there than there usually is. There was at least two or three rows extra at this point. Uh, I'm filming this on Wednesday. You guys will see it on Thursday. The auction is this Saturday. Uh, if you see stuff you're interested in, you can bid online. Uh, you don't necessarily have to be here. But uh, I realized mostly what I showed you was the red power stuff, which is what I was interested in seeing. And again, there was just no way to possibly show all the stuff that was here uh it was crazy this year people dragging stuff out of the weeds and everything else to bring here to try and make a buck on i guess um so yeah but uh, pretty cool so thanks for watching this video guys i appreciate it i will try and maybe get some auction values for you on some of those things that we saw today in an upcoming video so hit the subscribe and the bell icon so you don't miss those and if you enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up on your way out the door. I greatly appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing y'all in the next video. Let's see what we can film here. Oh, they turned it on. So it doesn't matter.